the Phil Travelers, Mark and Jocelyn with Walter's World, and we're here at the Nagora Gora Conservation Area in Tanzania, and um, we wanted to give you kind of an idea today about what not to wear when you're on safari. Yeah, and we've kind of narrowed it down to five different things because we've been spending the best part of the last week in the Serengeti and going around, and we've seen a lot of like not necessarily fashion faux pas because there's no real fashion faux pas when you're here. No one it's cares more, what it's, you look like. yeah, no one cares what you look like. <laughs> it's more of a kind of a safety kind of thing and comfort kind of thing Definite when you safety. are traveling here. So the first don't we have is don't wear blue or black, um, navy blue and black tend to attract the the tsetse flies. And let me tell you, I got bit by one today in all my khaki and it hurt. It was like hot little pinchy thing for a couple of minutes and um, you you just don't want to attract any more of those than is absolutely necessary. Yeah, and so what you want to focus on is the khakis, greens, browns, the earth tones basically. Yep. That's what you want to go for because it makes it a lot easier and a lot less more likely you're going to go there and you fit in better. And you can wear other colors. Like you could wear white, but you're going to be really dirty because trust us, it is <laughs> so dusty. The reason my yeah. hair is like this is because there's a pound of dust sticking in it right yes, now. Yes, mine too. <laughs> Me too, by the way. Now, the second thing we recommend not to wear when you go on a safari is maybe stay away from the short shorts and tank tops. Yeah, the the more skin you have, the more um, the more feed there is for the mosquitoes and the tsetse flies and the other little bugs. Right? And the sun, because you can get the sun's very strong here. Definitely. You're near the equator here, so you can get burned very quickly, very, very painfully. And this one really knows. I don't burn too much, but even I feel the sun you know a lot more intensely here than I do in other places so sleeves that roll I've got pants that roll up um, pants that zip off are kind of nice because it does get really hot during the day so yeah. you may there may be times when you want a little more breeze but it's nice to be able to cover up too when those bugs come back or when the sun's too intense yeah and the next thing I want to say is this is one thing we saw we were coming in the Serengeti and we we're leaving the Serengeti it's kind of like a congregation points for a lot of tourists yes. and a lot of them were wearing baseball caps so my don't for you is don't wear a baseball cap because a baseball cap only protects the front of your face you want to have one of these you want to have a round build hat because it protects your ears it protects the back of your neck and things like that from the sun it is very important to have one of these it really is helpful to to cover every bit um, because like we said it's really intense here yeah and the thing is a lot of times with the weather here it'll depend on the season you're coming in um, but you know like when you're here in you know August, September, I mean, it gets June, really, July. really hot. But anyway, it can be very hot during the day, but it can cool off a little bit in the evening. I mean, it's not going to be cold, but it could cool off a bit. So mm -hmm. my next don't for you is don't, let's, how would I say this? Don't think you're going to sleep on natural or when you're, you're <laughs> sli your slinky lingerie, because it is cool in the evening. <laughs> slinky lingerie in the safari. That's, that's funny. Um, so... <laughs> No, definitely went like long pants, long sleeved shirt because um, you're sleeping in tents. You know, there aren't warm hotel rooms. So um, definitely like we wake up in the morning and it was, it was chilly and we had some really great blankets and things, but it was definitely cold. Like so cold that you didn't really want to get out of bed, <laughs> yeah, take the covers off of you. Didn't really want to change into clothes because you didn't want to have to be naked for any amount of time. Um, so yeah. it does get pretty cold in the morning and we were chilly when we first went out, but by noon we were all really hot. So layers, I've got a tank top and I've got this and I had a jacket this morning. So things that you can kind of take off and, and these um, safari shirts and pants are really lightweight they breathe really yeah. well but they're also you know they're they're long sleeved and stuff and kind of keep you warm yeah and that lightweight fabric goes into our last don't we have for you for the clothing is that is don't wear jeans or heavy fabric clothing here because it does get extremely warm and extremely hot and you will be miserable and also you can't wash it very easily um, these things you can wash and have them dry by the next day so you only have to take two or maybe three outfits rather than if you're waiting for jeans to dry it may take two days and it just becomes a big pain in the rear end and more for me and if you're if you don't like being over hot yeah overheated yeah, yeah the jeans really make it a little uncomfortable yeah. we did see quite a few people today and heading jeans. in when jeans are like oh i feel sorry for you <laughs> so definitely wear the safari outfits it can really help right so we do have one little extra add-on in terms of what you don't wear when you do actually go on a safari and we've actually come down here to the bottom of the crater so you can see from down here there's actually some hippos back there you might see but i will let jocelyn finish off with the last kind of what not to wear yeah. about safari clothes so when you're on safari khakis greens all those good things 
But when you're in the cities, like if you're in Arusha or Kilimanjaro or anywhere else, you don't have to wear khaki yeah. and green Just because don't. <laughs> the locals don't. So look you don't like a normal person. Bring a couple t-shirts from home. Buy a t-shirt where you're wherever you are here. Something you don't have to wear that stuff all the time and look like a giant safari nerd. So um, that's pretty much about it, right? Yeah. Just keep in mind that people are normal not on you know safari and you can wear not safari clothes then yep but when you are on safari we do recommend wearing the safari stuff because when you're in the serengeti it makes a difference because the layers it, it could be cool they could be warm it could be super hot yep and the safari clothes really do help out take a cue those. from your guides they're going to be all in khaki when they're out there doing their thing mm -hmm. or they might um, they might be in a, in a, in a green or, yeah. or a brown so those are just our suggestions for what to take, what not to take, what not to wear, what to wear when you're on safari or when you're in the cities of Tanzania or anywhere else you might be on safari. We hope you really enjoy it um, and that your clothing fits with it. Yep. So we're going to say thank you everybody for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. If you do like honest travel videos like this to help people travel better like you and me and us and stuff like that, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And we put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday from all over this beautiful world. So we'll say bye from Tanzania. Bye. Hey the fellow travelers, Mark and Jocelyn here with Walter's World. Today we're here at the Nagora Gora Crater Consulate. Uh, we're at the Nagora Gora Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark. And Jocelyn with Walter's World. And we're here at the Ngorogora. I messed it up this time too. <clears throat> I'll step in the <clears throat> dung. You won't step in the dung. All right. Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark. And Jocelyn. And we're here with, oh, I'm supposed to say Walter's World. Yes. Go. Supposed.